Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Aquarius. Aquarius, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you in love. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Aquarius for their highest and greatest good. All right, so your person is showing up as the Seven of Wands. All right. They're also showing up as the Knight of Wands, so this may be somebody who has a lot of fire in their chart. All right, what they like about you is the Five of Cups. And we, what else we need to know? The Three of Wands. So this person may be at a distance here. Okay, it could be different city, state, or country, or they might be traveling to see you. And we have the Seven of Swords here, which is Moon in Aquarius. So this could be a secret admirer, or there could be something that's hidden here. So again, take your time getting to know this person. Um, but I am noticing the sequence 7-7. Seven, seven. So that is a powerful angel number. It's about protection. It's about your angels and your guides being around you. It's a very spiritual number. So a very spiritual connection here. All right, your person is showing up as the Seven of Wands, so they might be a little bit guarded. But what I love about this deck is this Seven of Wands, we have two people who are, you know, ride or die, protecting, protecting the relationship, protecting each other. So I do feel like you have somebody who's very loyal and protective here. Um, and again, maybe, you know, it's about fighting for this relationship, putting in the work, keeping third party interference out of the mix. All right. Which I do like about this, right? Because this is someone that wants to defend you, defend the connection. All right. They're very loyal and committed is what I'm getting. This person does like to travel or they're at a distance is also what I'm seeing with the wheel of fortune. They could have Sagittarius in their chart. But really, it could be any of the fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or Aquarius. This is someone who's willing to take a risk to move forward um, in love. And it does indicate to me that this is destiny, divine intervention, bringing you two together. And this person may be a Virgo or have this Virgo energy, an organizer, a planner, someone who's very detail-oriented. And I do also feel this may be somebody who's been single for a while, really waiting for the one. The Four of Swords tells me this person you know, maybe healing from, um, you know, a, a previous connection that didn't work out. But it can also be that this person has been in the process of healing from accident, injury, financial loss. Um, it does feel like they've had some sort of an awakening here with the hermit card. I feel like this person, you can talk to them pretty much about anything. Um, I feel like they are quite spiritual. Um, but I also feel this is someone who's a go-getter. I do feel this person may have had a tough time in love, though, or they're just really waiting for the one. All right, so let's see. Um, we see that this person, yeah, see, this is what I was kind of picking up on. They may be a little possessive, stemming from infidelity or insecurity, but I'm not really getting that. I'm just kind of getting that they have been betrayed or they've experienced infidelity or they're insecure about relationships to a degree. I'm not picking up on a major way because I do feel their energy is quite high vibrational, I do feel maybe they're healing from some sort of betrayal here, okay? Um, we see this person may be an Aries, so we have that strong fire energy coming through. So they're strong, they're resilient, they're a risk taker. I definitely get that there. And they have a carefree, youthful personality. And this person is solid, all right? They're strong, they're dependable, they're steady, all right? And they may have Libra on their chart, so I love the fact that they have the same axis but opposite ends, Aries and Libra and energy. So they're ruled by Venus. They enjoy beauty, fairness, and harmony in relationship is, relationships is important to them. So I do feel Aquarius, this is somebody who's experienced some difficulties in love, um, but I do feel like they really prioritize fairness and harmony. Um, they may have been, you know, they might, they may have just been the victim of, you know, a player or somebody who was, you know, just wasn't honest or was deceitful. I kind of feel this person um, has been in long-term connections all right, um, or tends to like relationships, uh, but let's go ahead and see, like, like long-term connections, not so much like one night stands, but let's see, the Knight of Wands, again, this person likes to travel, or I'm getting that they like to watch, like, travel, um, like, docu-series and things like that, whether it's about animals and wildlife or just, like, 
you know, like, I, and it's an interesting message. I just heard Anthony Bourdain, who I know has passed RIP. Um, but, you know, like watching like food and travel shows is what I'm getting. Um, this person may be in their 20s, but these very specific physical um, traits um, are not going to be for everyone. So for some of you, they are a little bit younger or they're in their 20s. They may have a bit of a dark past and we get this energy of lurking. So again, for some of you, this person is a secret admirer, but I kind of feel like there's something in their past that's still kind of lurking beneath the surface. I don't think it's a major red flag, but of course, address what needs to be addressed early on. Okay, Aquarius. And this person may be well known. So that may be within their family, within their community. Um, you know, maybe even, maybe even on social media here. Um, but I, I do feel there's something lurking beneath the surface there that it doesn't, it, it doesn't feel like it's a deal breaker. It's just that this person is more than meets the eye. Okay. So let's see, clear messages and guidance. What else do we need to know about this person? How else will my Aquarius be able to identify this person? They have dreams about you. They may have a tendency to be forgetful or late. All right, you may be connecting already in the dream space if you know who they are or not. This person may have one third of their body covered in tattoos or just have tattoos. And you may have met this person more than a year ago. And that does not mean that you have dealt with them or that you've, you know, that they're an ex, but it may be somebody who's just come into your orbit, come into your social sphere, um, or maybe you were chatting with them online before. You know, it's going to be different for all of you. All right, let's see what else my Aquarius need to know here about this person. Clear messages and guidance. What do my Aquarius need to know about this person, please? All right, we see they may be a sneakerhead, so they love sports. They might be a casual dresser. They may have a sneaker collection. They may be stocky. Okay, again, that's not going to be for all of you, but maybe they're solid. We get this energy of solid. So we see that they're, this is somebody who you're going to feel strong. They're going to feel like an anchor, whether that's physically, financially, or a combination of both. You're going to feel good in this person's presence. And you may meet this person through friends. Yeah, so again, maybe, you know, I'm not saying that they friend zoned you or you friend zoned this person, but it could be that, you know, you've met this person through friends before. And we do see a freak in the sheets here, Aquarius. So they're passionate with a high sex drive. They do it all. All right, loving that. All right, let's see. What they like about you is the five of cups. So hmm, this person, you know, I feel like you're going to really change this person's perspective of love because I'm kind of seeing here that they've been hurt. They've been disappointed. And the five of cups is always like when we're focused on like the worst case scenario, or we're focused on, you know, how we've been betrayed or, or heartbroken in the past. But if we do a little turn, we see that there are those two cups, a beautiful relationship, a beautiful soulmate connection right there. And, and it just feels like there just needs to be a little bit of a pivot, you know? So for some of you, this person's been, you know, right, right in front of you the whole time, right? Or there's somebody that you've already known before, but I also feel like this is what they like about you. Because again, you're changing, you're helping them heal. All right. Now it's not your job to help someone heal, but I just feel like naturally your presence, you coming into their life is going to really be a change in perspective is going to transform things for them. This person likes your Aquarian attributes. So they like that you're forward thinker, that you're, that you're a forward thinker, that you're innovative. Um, they like the way you communicate. They're going to really love the stuff that you two talk about. Cause I feel like they can talk about anything or you guys can talk about anything together, but they also find you to be loyal and truthful and authentic. And I feel like they're, they have a little bit of a unhealed wound about dealing with, you know, liars or cheaters or people who weren't authentic with them and the seven of cups. So for a lot of you, this person loves to, that you're willing to like dream the world into being the seven of cups is about having a lot of options. So they might know that you have a lot, you get a lot of attention, but more than anything with the seven of cups here, I feel like this person loves to dream with you, loves the way your mind works, um, you know, loves to sort of build those castles in the sky and talk to you about them and see which ones you can pull down to earth. And I just, I really like this. I just feel like they love that you're not afraid to dream. And the Ace of Wands tells me there's definitely going to be a whole lot of passion between the two of you. It's also divine intervention and it does feel like it's a new connection for a lot of you. It's not an ex. 
But for some of you, it may be, you know, somebody that maybe you had a crush on, maybe you've hooked up a few times, but for a lot of you, no, for a lot of you, it's somebody you have met through friends before, or you met through work or something like that, but some, it wasn't able to kick off or get off the ground. Maybe again, they were at a distance or they traveled a lot. Um, what they also like about you, Aquarius, is that, yeah, this magical energy, seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things, the belief that everything is possible. And that really just sums up the energy I was picking up off of the Seven of Cups, what they really like about you. And they also really like, wow, they really love that you're nurturing, that you're patient, that you have this unconditional love and that you love to give birth to life. So like create new things. They love your creativity. And again, create things that haven't been created before. And um, they also love that, you know, maybe you guys play games together. Maybe you like like playing slots or, or um, poker or things like that. You know, go, I'm seeing like actually somebody going to like a carnival or a fair. So that could be your first date. Maybe that's where you you've been with this person before, but again, not for all of you, but we see here that you, they, they love that you're willing to follow your intuition, even when others doubt you. So they just, I kind of feel like that's such an Aquarian energy, like doing what feels right for you, even if it hasn't been done before, even if people don't really understand what you're doing or why you're doing it. And I just feel like this person really gets you again. They might have a moon in Aquarius, or they might have Aquarius placements, all right. And I love that. It's like, you know, I love the fact that we got freak in the sheets coming out because, you know, when I think of Aquarius and Aquarius season, for example, it's like, let your freak flag fly, like just be you, you know, there's nothing wrong with being, you know, unique, eccentric and, you know, authentic to you. And, and I mean that in the best possible way. And I feel like this person really likes that about you. All right. So let's see, we get so um, someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. So, so again, maybe there is distance between you and this person. I don't think that this person has regrets about treating you poorly. What I'm getting more than anything is that this person may have regrets about not telling you how they felt. You know, I just heard last year. So again, for some of you, it was a year ago. Um, but for others of you, you know, they just have remorse for like not stepping up or maybe, you know, maybe they were dealing with somebody and they kind of had a crush on you. Um, so there may be some regrets here about not taking action earlier. All right. Um, Spirit saying there's potential for this to lead to a higher level of commitment, possibly marriage. And for a lot of you, a new love or recommitment here is developing. Um, and forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So again, I do feel like naturally, like whether you know this person or not, Aquarius, there's going to be this natural, beautiful healing transformation. And it just simply is because you two are coming together. Okay. So let's see what other messages we can get. Clear messages and guidance. All right, so we see this is going to happen unexpectedly or it's going to be an unexpected connection. Like I said, for a lot of you, you're going to just going to be really surprised that you know who this person is, that they've been somebody in your orbit, in your social sphere for quite some time. Okay, opposites attract, so you might be very different from one another. Okay, so maybe you guys are on a break, but for the vast majority of you, I feel like this is just going to be a different type of love. Again, travel seems to be really important here. To you and this person and spirit saying that love yourself first do your work you know uh, stay in your lane aquarius this person already already loves you is what i'm hearing okay and look at that we do get friend zone so for some of you you know you, you weren't you know this person is somebody who's been around you and maybe just friends or through friends and maybe you thought no, nothing would ever happen or maybe you both were involved with other people or again like that five of cups was showing us uh your focus was elsewhere all right, let's see if we can get any important dates here for my Aquarius about when this person's coming through. And we get September, so we're almost at the end of September. Um, but remember, I, I got that message, and, and of course it's not going to be for each and every one of you, but I heard last year, like when we were together, or last year. So maybe some of you met this person, you know, last summer or traveling or I don't know, um, but it could have been last September that you met this person. Um, but spirit is saying this is developing, this is happening within the next three months. So from now until the end of the year, all right, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, love and light Aquarius, take care.